Hello everyone, my name's Kaze, and as far as you're concerned, I totally have pants on. Welcome back to Kaze Watches, a series that's been running for so long that it fled the country and we had to start a new one. So I went on YouTube and typed in the search bar, horse and animation. Not like horse and animation, but horse animation, the two words together. And the first result to pop up was this video called Dream Come True, a mule mom's story. If I remember my biology correctly, mules can't have kids, so I'm expecting this to be some supernatural, magical business. And I thought it would be a good idea to share this experience with you. So without further ado, let's watch Dream Come True, a mule mom's story. Okay. Pretty. Bright colors. There's a goose. Oh my god. Okay. That's a good looking horse. If you think I'm sleeping, you'd better think again. My name's Tuffy McDuffie, and I can do more things with my eyes closed than most of the characters on this here horse farm can do with their eyes wide open. <laughs> Sounds like something a cat would say. How many times have I told you not to do that, cowboy? How do you expect me to run this farm properly if you keep interrupting me while I'm planning everything around here. Uh, also something I bring a cat would news say. from afar. Word of the Gypsy King. Or at least rumors. <laughs> Tuffy. <laughs> it's not Tuffy, McDuffy. It's Fluffy, McDuffy. Tuffy. That's Tuffy. Fluffy. <laughs> 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 We're assholes. <laughs> Come on, show me your move. I can take you. Come on, let's have it. Oh, he's so strong. Yeah. Do it once again. Does that chicken what? have? Come on. Do it twice. A again. headset on. And does that chicken oh, yeah. have goggles? Try this. What's happening? He's indescribable. He's inexplicable. And why do they have such bad voice yes. actors? I never liked him much. He's so yesterday. Right. Oh well, there really isn't anything to be afraid of here at the stables, is there? It never pays in life to be too sure about anything. Because later that night, probably is now a ruckus started. And it wasn't very pretty. Figures. A very nasty called it. Named Cal. I called it. The... This, this is our stable. Totally. Sir, a moment of your time. Behind this if you will wall. oblige me. Cowboy was courageous in confronting the danger, but the wily oh, coyote was too barking. much for him. <laughs> Whoa! Violent! That's when Farmer Jim stepped in. Yeah, get him, Farmer Jim! <laughs> Bitch ass coyote. To keep Cal the coyote from sneaking into the stables and terrifying the animals, 
Farmer Jim talked to his neighbor to the south, Farmer Dennis. They brought in a champion kicker to solve the problem for champion good. Champion kicker? Are they like contests? Wow! Isn't that amazing? What a kick! But what is it? It ain't a gypsy vainer. That's racist. Track. In fact, it wasn't even a horse. It was a mammoth donkey. And among other things, donkeys are known for one asset in particular. And mammoth donkeys do it in a very big way. If you know what I mean. <laughs> this donkey's name was Jack, and he wound up and gave Cal the boot. Ha, ah, shit! Time! <laughs> After time... After time... I feel like this is doing more bad than good. I mean, can you imagine the property damage? All those windows, man. This Jack, the donkey, was pretty popular. All the mares were a flutter over him. One of the Percheron draft horse mares, named Elizabeth, fell in love huh. with Jack. She's pretty. Aw, ain't they sweet? Having a dream, <laughs> Jack. A real, something Chill. I thought I never would feel. I never give up, I never give in. I look to the magic within. They gave birth to a beautiful mule, or Molly who Farmer Jim named Flo after his very own Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. Look at them. They're both like, what the fuck is this? It's a monstrosity. <laughs> what? Look. It's him. The Gypsy King. He's back. The Gypsy King. It was the Gypsy King. I'm sorry, I'm still not clear on who this guy is. The stuff of legend. For Gypsy Vanners and those who love them the world over. That's royal blood that runs in his veins. And they say one day I mean, another as okay. great will Wait. be born. <laughs> I don't quite understand what this guy is or why he's so important i mean he's on a mission but like to do what is he saving the horse princess speaking out against horse racing trying to find the golden oats i mean what shouldn't farmer jim be upset about this like one of your horses is missing and they say one day another as great will be born to follow in his royal footsteps but when flo was lonely Oh, None of him and Flo are gonna fuck, aren't they? To do with What's happening now? The critical conundrum concerning the propagation of a mule, like Flo, is a chromosomal conflagration. To wit, within the equine species, an equus ferris cabalus, otherwise known as a horse, has 64 chromosomes, while an equus africanus asinus, known by his buddies as a donkey, has only 62. These amorous equinous entities may produce offspring, in Latin, mulus somethingus, aka a mule. But said consequent mule has an anomalous 63 chromosomes, and although she is a wonderful mother, if given a splitting of a difference, she cannot reproduce on her own, ad hominem, ad hoc, ipso facto, etc. Yet, by combining two thimblefuls of fairy dust, 16 bits of smoky mirrors, a dash of Mondo Science and seven grams of gobbledygook, we were able to magically give this beautiful mule her own baby. A glorious gypsy vanner. Do you ever go to school and feel like you've learned less walking out than you did walking in? Also, yet by combining two thimblefuls of fairy dust, 16 bits of smoky mirrors, a dash of Mondo Science and seven grams of gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. <laughs> that's one way to say horse sperm. And that's how it all happened. 
how the mule who couldn't be a mom became a mule mom, inspiring mules everywhere. Mules everywhere? Flo gave birth to a beautiful Gypsy Vanna baby named Prince Deerfields, and he was magnificent. Listen to the story of a mule named Flo. She became a oh, mule mom it's not too cute. long ago. With help from Gypsy Vanners, a miracle took place. A fool was born with beauty and grace. Flo was still ignored because she was different. And all attention so went to the Gypsy Vander Everybody Prince Deerfield. That one day, Prince Deerfields would grow up to be as great as the Gypsy King. Yeah, that's gonna be me. Well, that's my story. And now, I'm gonna catch up on my cat naps. Hmm. Okay. So, that was, um, <laughs> a whole lot worse than I, um, expected it to be. <laughs> I was expecting Cal to come back and Flo was gonna like kick some ass. You know, I was just expecting so much more from this Flo character, but she just sort of seemed like a vessel, a tool really, to give birth to the Gypsy King. And I still don't understand why the Gypsy King was such a thing. Am I just supposed to be happy because he looked good? But the plot leaves a lot to be desired. But the animation was very good, and I can't lie, I really liked the music. The Gypsy Vanners. I'll give it a solid 5 out of 10. If you'd like to watch this short film for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. In the comments below, you can suggest something I should watch, or just two random words I can search and watch the first search result. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you like me, you can subscribe. Until next time, see you later. A mule, mama, mule.